Incredible work, Miles. Stick close to Feast. If the convicts get desperate, they may try to raid the shelter. Way ahead of you. Anything else happens here, I'll let you know. Great. Thanks, Miles. Yuri! Figured out Rhino's deal. He's attacking Oscorp's relief centers. Think I know which one he's hitting next. Reports of a possible earthquake and or demolition derby at the Harlem Center. Sounds like our boy. Headed there now. You holding up okay? Tired, but hanging in there. We'll get through this. Keep the faith. <laughs> What's up? You okay? I'm fine. Combing through Oscorp records. Hey, this is random, but you remember that trip we took to Staten Island with Harry? To find the best pizza in the city? Yeah. Ten hour odyssey for burnt toast with cold American cheese. How could I forget? Something about all these old Oscorp files made that day pop into my head. Harry was so excited about riding the ferry. Just made me think about how much simpler things were back then. No jobs, no super villains. We could throw away a whole day looking for bad pizza just cuz. You now it feels like if we take a nap, the world will fall apart. Yeah, this adult thing is rough. But I guess the work we do means today's kids can have their own Staten Island adventures. In safety. Kind of a circle of life thing. Circle of bad pizza. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a good way to look at it. Thanks, Pete. Targeting officers. Officers needed at Lanning Hill. Over. What, uh, 100 counts of assaulting a stable agent? Calling agents in Manhattanville. Requesting an update on your status. DCP is 5x5. Five five. And that's why Jonah paid me the big bucks. Wait a minute! You signed up for the jetpack, and now you're in way over your head! Please proceed to Manhattanville. Ah. 
why you guys were so cranky. You needed a nap. Enjoy. Officers, be advised. A food supply station is being attacked by escaped prisoners. Nearest officer, please proceed to Manhattanville. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, folk. <laughs> or maybe we could just talk it out. <laughs> Rhino, what's with the team up? I thought you were a loner. Ah, means an end, folk. All of life is means an end. <laughs> for these particular means. True freedom! True freedom! No more future. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight-ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to give up? Yes, Garden. That is exactly <laughs> what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. I promise you, Scorpion! Synthetic Gargan! I will squash both my heads! Rhino stun. Just for fists of fury. We could just stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody! Octavius will do if he finds out you failed! I failed? Yes, you freak show! A little force together time might help you boys learn to play nice. All right, Yuri, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sable's men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, 
but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. All units, officers are under sniper fire. Incident was reported near Sugar Hill. Over. Now reports are coming in that Martin Lee, along with exhibiting freakish abilities like those of you know who, has lately seemed to display almost a split personality. <laughs> this is hogwash, and a clear attempt to evade justice for his crimes. Only a fool would believe that he's Mr. Positive one moment, helping the poor with a smile, then suddenly he's Mr. Negative, blowing up, wait a minute, Mr. Negative. That's gold, Jared. Gold, trademark it, stat. <laughs> As I was saying, folks, Martin Lee's evil side, or as everyone is now calling him, Mr. Negative, has been revealed as the culprit for the City Hall bomb. Okay, MJ, I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay, Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Mayor Osborne really lives here? There's the security room, but that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Come on. Get out here right now! We're just as important as Osborne! This isn't fair! Let us back upstairs! If Osborne doesn't have to wait down here, we shouldn't either! Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. That should do it. Oh, crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Oh, man. I can't breathe. Let me back Security upstairs. room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their suite. That's what you said now. Hello. Man, I, I, it down. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet uh, you. I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Wait! <laughs> I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Good boy. I'm sure Sable offers workman's elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator.
that did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Control. Norman and Sable. Wait! Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable. Right on cue. Fine. Stupid useless button. Hmm. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please remain calm. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. What is this thing? Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Hmm, schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Norman bit the fabulous Osborne boys. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Looks like a boatload of electrical is routed right behind that painting of Norman. <gasps> it's the combat prototype from the schema schematic for the prototype mask. Norman seems to be pushing Oscorp towards defense work.
Harry's last day as the Code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Harry's last day. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Like his mom. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready, and I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the Labitat now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location.
Okay, July 18. Bingo. Sue, gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Norman Osborne, GR-27 Research Log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. child's x-ray, but it's not Harry or Emily. Who is this? That aura around him. Is this Martin Lee? Research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. L looks like Norman's. Tr huh. Sable Troop. De I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. GR 27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that. Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh, no. Have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location and a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. 
Great. Keep the motor running. Need to clear that balcony. Hey! <gasps> Boss, we got her. No! Pete, you here? I'm turning off Lex now. Are you okay? We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. You're amazing. <laughs> it's all so much to take in. Harry sick, Norman and Lee, and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... you find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. Thank you.